all you Facebook followers, this is Hunter Pruitt, the RV hunter down here at McLean's RV in Sanger, Texas. We're actually standing in the state's largest RV sales and service center up here in Sanger. And today we're bringing to you a 2021 Grand Design Imagine 24 MPR. It's actually the Imagine XLS line, which is their fiberglass lightweight towable uh, bumper pull line. We're doing this because after our last live walkthrough um, on the uh, 2021 KZ Escape hatch, a lot of folks reached out and said, we love the back hatch area, but we have things larger than canoes and kayaks and bikes. We actually need a legitimate garage. And if you have a larger SUV, like an Expedition, an Explorer, a Yukon Tahoe, or a half ton truck, the number of toy haulers out there that you can still tow comfortably is pretty slim. And so we wanted to showcase one today. Again, this is the 2021 Grand Design Imagine XLS 24 MPR. It only weighs about 6,300 pounds overall. It's under 30 feet on the nose. I mean, it's 29 feet, 11 inches. So there's not a single state or national park that will restrict you anywhere that you go. And we wanted to start on the inside of this model. On the last video walkthrough, we went all the way through the outside and some of the features of the KC Escape line specifically. But we want to make sure that y'all like the floor plan um, before we go into in-depth detail on what makes a Grand Design a Grand Design. So if you want to follow me, we're going inside. It's actually really neat that I have this second rear entry door here with the aluminum fold-up steps, the screen door. And you just walk right in to your garage area, which is gonna allow for really easy access when you're loading stuff up in here. Because a 10 foot garage, there's a lot of four wheelers um, and uh, motorbikes in fit. But if you have a larger side by side, it might be a tight squeeze. And so having this rear entry is super convenient. But you'll notice it's pretty rare to have a sink back in a bunkhouse concept. And that's kind of the neat thing about this floor plan is the versatility. It's not just a toy hauler. It's not just a bunk model. Um, it's kind of a combination of all the above. And I wanted to show how easily it is to put out these bunk beds because one of the larger bunks that we even offer um, in any floor plan basically has two queen beds. Now granted, this one is technically a 60 by 72 camper queen, but you do have the full-size queen Murphy bed up on the front that we'll get to. But you notice here, I just took two straps off, just lifts up real easy, and it's all on gas-assisted struts. The feet kind of kick out all on their own, and boom, look how massive this bed is. I mean, most bunk models, if you want to sleep two people, you better really love each other. This is one that's more than comfortable um, for a full-grown adult couple. And then this here, you just have two little latches and levers on either side. I'll go ahead and get this one on this side. It slides right up. And when this comes right down, I'm going to go ahead and get a little action shot here. This is the ladder. It comes right out. And we have a top twin bunk as well. This can even flip up um, to kind of act as a guardrail for your kids as well. Um, but neat bunk concept that really makes it up and down pretty easily. And then you still actually have um, the sink back here for the kids to get ready in. A whole medicine cabinet. And even if you're just using this for a cargo trailer, I mean, who doesn't want a sink in their back garage area? And you got plenty of storage here as well. With all the real wood cabinets that Grand Design offers, real nice hardware. There are plugs everywhere. You'll notice up above, down below. Every grain design has at least 15 outlets in it. This back garage area is also vented um, with an electric vent fan. Cranks right up. We'll turn that on. And notice that the air is ducted. You also get great light back here. I mean, you got these really nice blackout roller shades. So compared to a lot of the lesser brands that have the pleated shades that get ruined the first time one of the kids puts a hand in them, these roll up and down super easy and they're legitimate blackout shades, no lights getting in here. You also have another place to mount a TV in the back. And so whenever you get all this open air space, similar to what you get in the KZ Escape, you have this back area, you can just be lounging with the family, basically on the bunks, um, or you can bring chairs back here. Again, the versatility of the space really opens up possibilities especially for people that don't have the tow capacity that you need for the larger toy haulers. Let's go into the front area. We have these nice sliding glass doors. And notice no floor vents in this entire camper. It's not just because it's a toy hauler, but every grain design, none of their bumper pools have any floor vents. And so you can lay down rugs, don't have to worry about pets and kids dropping things down in them. Um, but we're gonna focus on the kitchen first because man, they loaded this little 30 footer with a ton of storage. You have this pantry here, Three really nice drawers, real solid wood drawers. Man, they pull out, don't they? Go 
and close all of these up. They did a redesign of this whole styling about a year and a half ago, and they really made it look modern and sleek, very bright and vibrant. It really opens up the space. This is a gas and electric um, propane and uh, electric fridge. And the nice thing about it is, I mean, Grand Design's never going to stray from their loyal boondockers, and this gives you the capabilities of boondocking and going off-grid camping. You do have your microwave here, vent fan, really nice undermounted stove and oven with a cast iron cooktop. This flips right up, becomes your backsplash when you're cooking so you don't get your bacon grease and stuff like that up on the wall, but also becomes an additional prep surface um, whenever you're not using it. Really decent size oven, fit a full size hand in there so you can at least cook some chicken strips and that sort of thing. And a huge pot and pan drawer up underneath. And it also allows for real easy access um, to your uh, water heater bypass and all that. Something important to consider this time of the year with a lot of y'all winterizing your campers. Here you got more storage. Small baking sheets and utensils. I'll show you up underneath. Notice how they utilize literally every square inch in there. No rough cut holes anywhere. Really good space and a convenient space to put a trash can because you're always looking for that in a camper. And then this is a really good time to point out kind of the high quality hardware that Grand Design uses also. But give us your feedback also while y'all are watching. If there's any part of the video that we're moving too quick and you want to see something in more detail, if you put a comment in, Rick, our great camera guy behind the scenes, he'll uh, reach out to me and let me know if there's something you want to focus on more. But this is actually a, a dish drying rack or, again, a place that you could have additional prep surface when you're not using the sink. But then you remove it and look at this huge undermounted sink. All your big camping, your uh, cast iron cooktop and all that, throw right in the sink and then this actually comes right down as a sprayer with two different settings there. And then talk about additional prep space, this actually makes right up for additional prep space. So again, for a 30 footer, you get a lot of kitchen. And then we'll show you kind of the versatility of this Murphy bed concept here. Something that's really neat, Grand Design's really perfected this. A lot of Murphy bed concepts you see, this whole uh, bed area is really leaning pretty far forwards. It really cuts into your pass-through storage space, but not on this floor plan. This here, you're able to sit down. This kind of articulates so you can get in and out pretty easy. I know you don't buy a camper like you buy a car by counting the number of cup holders, but it's still really nice to have. You do have a cup holder here, so it turns it into either a three-seater or a two-seater whenever you have the table in between. But this just removes up real easy. And so when you don't want to have it in place, I'm just going to throw this over here. Time being. Or I could throw it all the way back in the garage. you got all that usable space back there. But look, Grand Design, I mean, this is what happens when you have women and full-time RVers on the design team. They maximize every square inch. You get two drawers up under here. Also, by the way, allows for real easy access to your water pump and pump station up underneath storage on either side and notice that you get both USB ports and outlets and then huge storage up underneath also so it's not just a bedside table but then to make it down into a bed this just flips right over super easy this is high traction vinyl not going to scratch up if y'all have dogs this folds down just like that and all of this folds perfectly flat and boom there you go got a full size queen 60 by 80 queen size mattress and what is great about it is it really does keep all of your linens and uh, all your sheets pretty snug and firm when you fold it up inside but there is enough space for you to do a mattress topper um, on top if you wanted to to kind of up the comfort of this mattress these lights are pretty neat it's a small thing but when you're laying in bed at night you don't want to blind yourself it goes to the blue light first and then um, to a brighter light and then you do have the closets on either side I'll showcase them on this side so you can get a good view and it is the same on both sides but it was about six to nine months ago that Grand Design started using these cubbies on either side of the bed it was something that was requested and they took the space that was behind their innovative drawers and turned it into these little cubbies you got USB ports there and additional plugs on both sides and that's just very convenient at night whenever you need a place just to put a drink or your phone. And then you also have the additional ledge up over top. 
But whether or not you're in bed at night or you're sitting there like a sofa, you do have the whole entertainment center right here inside the main door. It is a Roku smart TV on an articulating arm. Swings out real easy. Your stereo and everything is up underneath. With more storage, your fuse panel. And notice, this is the patented Evenflow heat system. I touched on it briefly, um, but all the ducts are side mounted. Not only is it convenient to not get all the dirt down into them, but it also disperses the heat um, better, which again, these are the only two months of the year that you might care about that if you live in Texas, but still a really nice feature. Uh, and then you have all this storage right inside the main door, uh, kind of a little landing area for you to drop stuff up, off at as you're going outside. And then this is one of the newest things that Grand Design is doing. This is the Compass One Connect system. What's really neat, I don't know if you noticed when we caught it in the video, but as soon as I walked by, it turned on, kind of motion activated. Um, but this is a lot, it's more digital, it's a lot more clean view of all your systems between your fresh tank, your black tank, your battery levels. Um, by the way, you have uh, 47 gallons in the fresh tank, I believe, 37 gallons of black, almost 40, which is incredible and then over 80 gallons in your uh, gray tank, which is just massive, a huge amount of capacity um, for water when you're boondocking. But ceiling lights here, exterior lights, uh, your water pump, turning that on and off, gas and electric water heater. But this button here is one of the neatest parts about this um, because once you hit this Bluetooth connect button, you can actually connect to it on your phone um, through the Compass One Connect app. And then you're able to control the awnings, the slides, uh, monitor your tanks and control some of the lights on the inside directly from your phone. Um, and it's really crazy that we're to that point in the RV industry um, that have that amount of connectability uh, when you're out there camping. Now, 15,000 um, old ducted BTU um, AC uh, thermostat controlled right here. And that's kind of going to be our segue into the bathroom area here. All pocket doors, that's something that Grand Design was just, I mean, kind of the forefront that they're on. You don't have the swinging doors that are real big pain. And this magnet is super strong, so you're going to know if somebody's coming in on you in the bathroom. You have a porcelain toilet here. And I'll show you, I mean, you can lose an arm back here in this towel storage. But speaking of a place to put your towels, what a concept. Grand Design actually gives you a towel rack and the, the two uh, octopuses, I guess, on the wall um, for you to actually hang up uh, your towels so you're not having to go into a brand new camper and put command strips in. Very neat. And then look at this innovation. I mean, you have this kind of tiny area right in between the toilet. What are you gonna do with it? Turn it into storage, Grand Design says, and man, super innovative. And you have all this storage up underneath the sink. And then they did uh, make this sink a little bit deeper um, in recent year models with more storage back behind the medicine cabinet. Now, if you haven't seen this shower, it's brilliant. Uh, this is a screen that retracts automatically. Uh, what's neat about it is there's two things. So you close this off while you're in it. It's not as restrictive as glass. You notice you can move around in here. So if you've got broader shoulders, you're not going to feel all cramped and confined, but whenever you go to open it, not only does it retract to keep it from getting musty or mildewy, but there's a squeegee on this backside that cleans it automatically. So you're not having to clean a glass shower curtain or anything like that. So a huge convenience. Um, and also, I don't know if you noticed, but again, I'm six foot even and had plenty of headspace in here on a smaller 30 foot camper. So that's pretty much the whole inside of this camper. Um, and so if y'all still want us to focus in on a particular area that we kind of skipped over, feel free to comment and we'll go back and touch on it. But I'd like to go outside and show you a few of the features out here as well. Um, because again, it's loaded. You have the additional three aluminum steps. They're not the uh, steel steps that'll bind and chuck. And then out here, I mean, look at that awning, massive. This is right at a 30 foot camper and I would peg that awning uh, right at about 16. Uh, feet overall in length at least. It's massive. You got the ladder to get up onto the roof there as well. Um, Grand Designs have full walk-on slides and so uh, you can get out not only on top of the roof, it's of course a full walk-on roof, but you could actually walk out onto your slide to clean it off. So make sure you utilize that awning if you get this, or this uh, ladder, excuse me, if you get this camper so you can climb up there and keep them clean. But speaking of the awning, you have the LED strip. I love that it's on the inside um, of this wall. A lot of these campers, your LED strip is on the other end, so you always have to put out your awning in order to utilize it, but not on this one. And again, the black fabric, 
What's really neat about it is if you get leaves rolled up inside of there, it's not going to stain it. It's going to stay looking good for years to come. You have your outside speakers. That's paired with the inside uh, stereo system. All Bluetooth connectable. Um, your radio, of course. This is your water heater access panel here. Is a quick recharge, the medic, six gallon, furnace exhaust, and a place to mount a TV here. I, I will uh, point out if you go ahead, it is safe on a fiberglass camper to mount an outside mount. What I would do personally is here at our McLean's parts department, we actually carry some TV mounts that has one mount but two backers. And so we put one backer here and then maybe one inside your garage there. And so while you're going down the road, all you have to do is take it from your outside wall and put it inside so you're safe for transport. And then whenever you want to entertain out here, you just take it off of that interior wall, put it right there, give your cable out and additional plugs. This is a spray port here so that you can hose off the steps, use it as a source of water, and then a propane quick connect line up underneath. So if you have a Blackstone or a Weber grill that you want to put out here, it's already equipped for you to connect right to it and get cooking. Um, this is a black tank flush. Brilliant feature. Um, make sure that your black tank doesn't get accumulated with all the junk. Um, you're able to clean it out um, and flush out that tank. Just make sure your black tank's open, otherwise it's a real crappy situation, pun intended. Um, but you'll notice as you point down at the um, propane quick neck line, these huge 15 inch off-road beefy Westlake tires. Uh, that's because, I mean, most people who are going to be hauling toys are going to be going to those areas um, that are off-grid, and so Grand Design's giving you the capability um, to get there. With those tires, they're also now prepped for the tire link pressure monitoring system on this camper, which kind of connects into that one control system. Um, you're able to use the tire pressure monitor system through the app to monitor it, but don't really worry about blowouts or anything like that on these because Grand Design does protect your tires for five years. One year, no questions asked. You can pick up a nail on all four tires, they'll send you four brand new ones. And I urge you to try and find another brand that's gonna offer that level of protection. Going more into detail on the warranties before I just skip over them. These automotive grade decals on the outside aren't just peeling six stickers. If these ever start to peel or fade for five years, they're protected also. I mentioned the tires, but also the wheels and axles for five years are protected. You have a full three year structural warranty and then a one year bumper to bumper as well um, with an 18 year warranty on the roof, which is the longest in the industry. And so that's kind of the full overview of Grand Design's warranties. But I mean, man, we could go on for a minute about their service and how they can actually come to you if you have a trip ending issue. If your slides can't come in, they have the white nights by Grand Design um, that come save you. They can drop ship parts directly to you, authorize you to do your own warranty work and that's just incredible. You don't really get the service from Grand Design that you'll get with any other manufacturer. So, um, but we can go ahead and move on to some more of the features through here. Uh, you have the full pass-through storage, and that's something I mentioned on Murphy Bed Options, is that you don't typically get a full pass-through if you have a bed that's folding up inside. Um, but Grand Design did a remarkable job here of still utilizing as much storage space as possible. Big 20 pound uh, propane tanks electric front jack and this here on this side i really want to get into because this is a huge part of what makes a grand design a grand design all these brands especially now that we're in the winter months you should be really nervous if you walk up to a camper and all your water and hose connections are out here on the outside not only is that a place where your hoses can freeze but also it's additional cuts in the sidewall of your fiberglass that water could get in behind and having it all inside insulated where forced air is into this area keeping it warm is just much better um also your accessories can't grow legs what you do is you actually run your hoses up underneath and if you look here this keeps pests and rodents from getting um into your inside pass-through storage connects right here um and whether or not you are connected to pressurized city water are you going to be running off of your water pump and the water that's in your fresh tank all that you do is flip this little lever here super user friendly especially if this is one of your first campers and you're not accustomed to the whole um setup this is super simple because it's labeled for you and then you also have a battery disconnect switch inside here so if you're leaving it in storage you're not going to come back and your whole camper is dead you can't put out the slide or the front and jack this here uh electrical plugs and then your cable in as well along with an outside shower so you actually have two sources of outside water on this camper, which is super neat. 
This is also an additional place for you to fill up your fresh tank. So if you're ever stranded and need to fill up from a bucket, this is a place for you to do it. Um, but this will also siphon uh, water directly from a bucket. You connect the hose right here, turn it to fresh tank fill, turn on your water pump on the inside and it'll siphon water directly into your fresh tank. You do have your two uh, tank or your uh, dump stations over here. They're a lot easier to get to whenever your slides in, but notice the Schwintec slides. And by the way, the insulation ratings on Grand Design, they're the only brand that actually advertises their R values of insulation. Uh, you do have R7 and not just the side walls, but also the slide walls. And this is the important thing to knock and do a thumb test on when you're going around shopping different camper brands, because almost nobody insulates this. And this is where you're sitting all the time. This is the area that's most prone to losing all your heat and AC. Um, but Grand Design ensures that you're not going to be losing the comfort right out this slide wall. R7 there, R40 up on the roof, and R30 in the underbelly, uh, which is better insulated than most houses are. So, um, but beyond that, another neat feature I wanted to point out that's not on hardly any campers I've ever seen is right here. This is actually a fresh tank dump. Oh, I wanted to point it out on this camper specifically. If yes, we're right at 6,300 pounds. Um, but gross weight, once you get a toy in here, you can get this thing up to 9,400 pounds. Most SUVs top tow rating is gonna be right about 8,500 pounds. So if you start going up to, I don't know, the mountains and you have um, higher uh, RPMs on your transmission and you don't wanna start throwing kids or luggage overboard, what you can do is come right here, go to your fresh tank dump, you open this and you will drain your entire fresh tank in less than 30 seconds, which is better than relying on these little uh, PEX piping um, to release your fresh tank because that'll take up to a few hours. And so that fresh tank dump is a super neat feature, especially with how large the tanks you get on this Imagine. Now as we go around the outside, I mean, the rest of the vents, we can point out to you, when, here at McLean's, we do a full hour long instructional walkthrough with you, going through how to use every component of the camper, um, how to set it up, how to break down. But um, most of these, that's just your outside fridge vents and your vents above the stove. I will point out a small place to keep your um, sewer hose up right there next to your uh, power cord. But again, the versatility of the screw space as you go back to the rear is awesome. I mean, what other camper is under 30 feet that you can sleep really comfortably up to five individuals? And then during the day, I mean, you can still get all your toys, your golf cart, still kayaks, bikes, but a 10 foot garage is going to offer you a lot more wiggle room to put things inside of. And then you can also get from our parts to come in $150 jack stands, put them right up underneath this ramp, and then all of a sudden you have a patio back here too. And so that's again why we really wanted to feature this camper after we featured our hatch is from the versatility of it. We wanna get your thoughts and your feedback. Other campers you'd like to see, if you have more intensive questions on the Grand Design line, technically the Grand Design product specialist for McLean's and we have a lot of knowledgeable representatives that can kind of walk you through um, different features on these and help you find the specific floor plan. Maybe you prefer to have legitimate bunk beds or maybe you need a toy hauler that has more than a 10 foot garage. We have it. We have other Imagines, Transcends, the Momentum line of toy haulers. And so let us know what you'd like to see next or just stop in and see us. Again, we have five different locations. We're here at the Sanger uh, McLean's, which is our newest store. But we also have one down in Corinth, in Fort Worth, in Rockwall, and then up in Oklahoma City. All of our uh, locations are fully stocked with Grand Designs, KZs, Winnebago's, and now Gretchen Nexus Motorhomes. And so reach out to us. Let us know what you want to see next, and possibly even schedule an appointment with us to come see them in person. But if you have any other questions, again, my name is Hunter Pruitt, the RV Hunter. We appreciate you tuning in, and let us know what you want to see next. We look forward to doing another video with you all real soon. Take care and have a blessed one.